Hi guys, welcome to another beautiful video. Today, I'm going to review my daily driver. That's been my daily driver for the last, uh, I think, around two years now. It is the Samsung Galaxy Note 20 Ultra 5G fingerprint magnet. Yes. <clears throat> Absolute powerhouse. Yes. Would I change it for any other phone that's a flagship right now? Absolutely not. Reason being that I don't see another phone that's actually more capable than this one. That's the, uh, I think, 120, uh, 128 gigabyte version with uh, 12 gigs of RAM. It's a beautiful phone. It has amazing cameras, which I will show you later on this video. And has capabilities for gaming, has capabilities to film up to 8K. If we go to the camera app right here, and uh, right now it's just placed on the table. And let me give it permission for camera. Let me give it permission for microphone. And right now, as you see, it's in filming mode. Let's go to video. And uh, at the video... Let's check the quality. And the quality is as it goes. You have here, I'm not sure if you can see in here, 8K24, UHD60, UHD30, FHD60, FHD30, and HD30. I mean, you don't have a lot of phones that are flagships even today that will film in 8K without a single hiccup. So, this phone, and it can play beautiful games. Let's say, I'm not much of a gamer, so ex forgive me if I'm not doing the right game test or whatever you call. And this one right now installed, I have only PUBG and uh, Asphalt 9. I don't really know how to play PUBG, but I'm just going to try Asphalt 9 really quick so you guys can see for yourself. Uh, this phone is extremely capable. Let's try a race or something, I guess. I did. As I said, I'm not much of a gamer, so if there's gamers out there, forgive me if I do anything stupid on it. So I'm just going to click next, 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 and uh, feel free to laugh if you catch something that doesn't make sense. It's just a game that I, I was around two gigabytes to download, actually. But I'm downloading it just to show you that this phone is capable of these sort of graphics and that stuff, even though it's by definition or means not a brand new phone. It's not a 2022. I think oh, that's the Nitro. Uh, I guess you press this other one for something else. Oh, that's the brakes, looks like. Shockwave gives you a boost in speed. Okay. And we spent all our nitros. As you see, that's all. I'd, I'm not going to waste more time with it. What else can you do with this phone? Well, with this phone, you can edit videos. And uh, let me show you right away. I have Filmora Go. As uh, many of you might be familiar with Filmora, uh, what do you call a uh, video editor? That's an ad that, of course, they have to give us because I'm not in a pro mode. And uh, let's say, for example, you had a new project. There are pictures, a random crap that I might have here. Let me open one of them. Click next. Import in video. And here is one of the videos which you will see on the on this video as well. It's just me filming outside. And uh you can see the slider here for example. It's it's super snappy and super fast. You have add text, you can uh, add stickers, effects, picture-in-picture, picture, trim, add music, 
everything that you would do on a normal PC on a video editor, you can do on this one. At te- I'm not going to go through the whole thing and doing a whole video. Let me increase the light here. Maybe you guys can see it better now. Okay, nope. That didn't work. Okay. And uh, what else can you do with this phone, for example? Let's say you have an external drive that I reviewed just a couple days ago. And you want to plug it to your phone really quick and have stuff that you have in it. Well, this phone is more than capable of that. Let's say USB-C from the drive and USB-C to the phone. And we don't want to open it with any of these things. Slide down and uh, let's go to USB storage that we just added. And it's here. That was a test video that I put before. If you watch the other video, that's 9.7 gigabytes video. And let's say we want to play directly from this drive right now. This video is being played from this drive. As you see, that's one of my videos. You can zoom in video while playing a video. Which, you know, a lot of phones do it, but not as Note 20 does it. But let's say, let's say you're going to say, oh, okay, okay. Now, I want to plug in a regular drive or SSD drive that's external. Well, as long as you have the proper equipment or connectors, you can do it with this one. It's more than capable. Here it goes. There's a regular solid state drive that you can buy at Best Buy or online or whatever. And it has a USB. Well, you can get one of those OTGs, we call them. They're pretty cheap, I think, on uh, Amazon. It's just a USB-C to regular uh, USB. You plug it in your phone as like that. Flip it here. Let's connect this drive. It might have some personal stuff that I will probably blur, but just to show you that it reads it. Here we go. There it goes, and yes, it recognized it, and it says uh, USB storage added, read only, yes, because I made it read only. It says no files, actually, yes, I looks like I already formatted this drive, so that's good, and it says no files, but that's the USB storage one that we added here. To prove that it is this one, let me disconnect the drive. Boom. And it goes out of it. So this phone is more than capable of doing all of that and much more. What do I think about the Note 20 Ultra? To me, it's probably the best phone ever made. One thing it might be missing is a headphone jack. I wish it had that, but it doesn't. So we're going to live without it. And with that said... Watch some of the sh- uh, videos that I took with this phone and photos that I took with this phone. With that said, thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Bye!